from your St. Louis Blues, number 57, David Perron. From the skates on the stairs, he's got no skates this time. Mitch Marner. That's a great interaction for the crowd, isn't it? Marie's all warmed up and ready to go. From the Calgary Flames, number 19, Matthew Kachuk. No between the legs on this one, I don't think. Hey, no. He did that in the breakaways. Because they're elevated, the, it'll be interesting to see how hard From they the shoot the puck. Yeah. There'll be some carrying. Brady Kachuk. And Brady was the guy yesterday that everybody pointed out did really well. I think he nailed his first three or four shots and made it look easy. Not what a thrill, pressure what a thrill for two kids from oh, St. Louis to be in the All-Star game in St. Louis with one of their favorite players who gets booed all the time, Patrick Kane. You know, to think the experiences that Brady and Matthew had watching their dad and being in the dressing room with all the stars, for them to be those stars now is pretty incredible. Nice touch for Tyler Sagan to bring some souvenirs along. The U.S. Women's All-Star, number 21, Hillary Impossible to pick a favorite in this one. It really is. Yeah, you have no precedent, do you? I don't think you can say anything would be an upset. Well, I like the fact that the NHL is stepping out and trying something different. I like Quinn Hughes' uh, answer to David's first question. I don't know what's going on right here. <laughs> it kind of looks like that when it I look does. at the ice. He's just exactly. off to those popped everywhere. What's the strategy? He's not alone. Thank you. I was out to lunch. I blacked out. Good luck. Thank you, guys. Thank you. And there's the last of the competitors. Seven shots each. And all those targets. And the winner gets a stuck beer. And look at that interaction, though. You saw the young kids and old people uh, getting fist bumps with their favorite players. That, that's a pretty good addition to this All-Star game. He's going for the middle 10. That might be the uh, strategy. And he's sailing them a little bit too high because he's not used to shooting shots from 40 feet above the ice. I think he jumped the gun, though, didn't he? He just got up there and started going. Yeah. They're not going to count that. He's going to get a do-over because he started too soon. So that's good for him. They are using regulation pucks. They're just orange. That was a nice couple warm-ups. Sometimes it's, I think it's hard to track them because you don't know where he's shooting. Complete do-over for David Perron. He signed five different contracts in the NHL, but only with one team. That one went through without hitting anything. Still hasn't got the range. Interesting song choice for uh, Perron. French guy, Old Town Road. Little Nas X. I'm not sure that connection there. It doesn't strike me as that... Uh, that type of guy at all. Oh, there he is. First one in the ice. And of course, it's a blue. Unless they were practicing last night, it's probably an advantage for the guys who are yeah, later, later on the line to watch. Here's the just perfect shot right in the middle of that one. 
This is a Marner strike. He's a guy that would just do well in this event. Yeah, just reason. step up and do it. He can pretty much do anything, can he? Come on, it wasn't that boring. <laughs> but it is late. Yeah, oh, so you're right about that. <laughs> I feel like this is what his weekend would be like when he was a kid. Oh, he hit the top of that one. That doesn't count. If it hits the mesh and comes out, it does count. Not worrying about those two-point targets. He's just going 10, 10, 10. No, I'll take it. Not. I'll be like, okay. All right. 22. 22 from the corner. Being down here, this net is not as big as I thought originally. It's it's still a pretty small target from up there. Like, it's pretty impressive to get any in there, in my opinion. 22 points for Mitch Marner. And the lead in the competition. Marie Philippe Poulain is next. Her teammates cheering her on. 23? I got yeah. three. You have to hit the target right on. Come on. Oh boy. Get in. Counts if it bounces in. Too. Yeah, she didn't get a bounce there. That's ten. Nice. That's five. She got five on that one. Whoa. Two more shots. That's it. Beauty. Now here come the Kachucks. Look at that floater right in the middle of the arch. Justin St. Pierre is really enjoying waving off these <laughs> shots. You're, you're enjoying this, aren't you? <laughs> Crushing dreams. Our next shooter, Matthew Kachuk. Uh, following you is your brother, Brady Kachuk, and we thought, hey, why don't we get one more Kachuk up over here? Why don't we bring up your dad? Give it up, St. Louis! Keith Kachuk! Huh? Hey, take a look, take a look at the photo up on the board, you guys. How great is that? How exciting is it for you to be here tonight on this platform? History in the making being here with your sons. I'm so proud of these guys. Uh, they've earned to get here. They grew up here. They watched the Blues play here. Uh, I'm just thrilled that they got an opportunity to do this. I love these guys. I know they love the Blues deep down, though. Well, well we're excited to be here. 18,000 people want to know how many pucks can Kachuk, Chuck, Chuck, Chuck. So why don't you have, uh, have a go at this? God, Keith Kachuk, everybody! Was a day when he might own this competition. Maybe he will still. Oh. Known around the National Hockey League just as Walt. A nickname that came from Walter Kachuk, who played for the New York Rangers. No relation, but some guys had trouble with his with name. So he just became Walt. Well, what, got what about this? <laughs> Tribute to the hometown team. It's a tribute to Yadier and Molina of the St. Louis Cardinals. Going Wide for the right. Arch. Going for the arch each time. Just a bit outside. Okay. There's a fastball. 
right down the middle. You could feel the pressure mounting, couldn't you? All of a sudden, you miss three or four. You don't want to get shut out. Just missed on that one. So Mitch Marner continues to lead in this new competition. Got perfect spin. So many younger brothers trying to outdo your big brother. Here's an opportunity for Brady to do just that. Got it. Just missed. There's a two. Oh, it went over top and fell down, but landed in the net, and St. Pierre quick to wave it off. Best call he's made all year. He's overshooting it a few times, hasn't he? He's sailing it up in the air and it's just taken off. He's getting chirped by his brother. Maybe his dad too. Yeah, probably. That's, I can only imagine the competitiveness in that family growing up. And there's four. Got to chase Big Brother again. And listen to this reception for Patrick Kane. Funny, you see this every year at the All-Star Game. Last year at San Jose, it was Drew Doughty and Gibson that got booed. Yeah. Yep. This year, public enemy number one is Patty Kane, ironically probably the best all-time American hockey player. <laughs> but he's from Chicago. Knows he's got to take a little yeah. off it. There you go. And he did. You're right. He made just a subtle adjustment there, didn't he? Now he's got the range. Pretty smart player, isn't he? Yeah. You know that he really wants to win this oh, now. Gosh. Absolutely. And he's that kind of competitor that it seems he plays his best when everything's on the line. There's a two, so he's tied with Marna. Too high. Oh. <laughs> He's trying to find that range that he had in his second shot and just stick with it. A little high again. Last shot to take the lead. A pair of former London Knights going head to head. What we've learned so far is that there's really only one target. Yeah, they all go for the gold march. Like going to the casino, just go straight to the thousand dollar table and walk right by all the other ones. Sagan, Hillary Knight, David Pasternak, Ryan O'Reilly still to shoot in the shooting stars competition. First shot's been heavy for almost every guy. Four. But at least he got four out of it. Yeah, it went right over the arch and into the four. So he takes a little off it. Not too much. It's just a dangling carrot in the middle of this 10 spot. Everybody wants it. It's all they're shooting it for. This poor camera guy at the end is just eating pucks off his shin. <laughs> to shooting everything hard it must be try very to difficult to try and take some of it just a nice shot for sure oh he went up 
half and over. Had a chance to take the lead with a 10 spot there. Instead finishes 14 and 8 behind. Not to overanalyze this, but when you shoot a puck from that far away, the spin of the puck will move it, much like a curling rock. So you have to shoot it left of the target or right of the target, depending on what you're doing in the puck. A little food, food for thought there. <laughs> She's gonna get it, Dad. She'll get it. <laughs> you can hear the Kachuk call. Yes, I'm up. No, no. Ah, Joel. Oh. Snap that one. Now she got a four though, up for yeah, Hopper, okay. underneath the ten and into the four. That's in. Oh. Oh, I'll put more behind it, eh? Gravity drop. I wonder how a Shea Weber slap shot would be from up there. <laughs> Look out at the other end of the ring. Uh, uh. There's a good finish. See that puck spinning There's there? There's your spin yeah. as it spun right into the middle. Well played there. Well, Pasta's had a long time to stand and look at this and plan his strategy, and here comes the Boston Bruins star. Uh, there haven't been too many times he's missed this year. What a year he's having, and putting a puck in the back of the net. Even he's hearing a few boos tonight. His last game in this building was a win. But his last game against the Blues in the playoffs was a loss. So he gets four at the other end and then all the way past over top of everything and into the net at the other end. I, I, this might be intentional. He's missing it yeah. 10 feet high. Generous two spot there. Generous. I thought for a second there was strategy that he was just trying to collect points from everywhere. Just had a couple of misses. Oh, that one looked good, didn't it? He, 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 he thought it was behind. <laughs> he wants a replay on that one. One shooter to go in the competition, and it's a St. Louis Blue. And uh, did go over. Wow. Over and in. This guy usually <laughs> doesn't do well in pressure situations, does he? <laughs> Blues have put on a pretty good show here tonight, those that have been in these competitions. And here's Ryan O'Reilly. We should have tried one. Patrick Kane, Mitch Marner sitting with 22 points in the lead. Our final shooter, St. Louis' very own, number 90, Ryan O'Reilly! Oh boy. Curveball. Shanked it. First overall, though, next year. <laughs> Ooh, that was a close one. This competition's great, though. Oh, oh that no. hit the post on that one. Ha! Let me pull if he got it. No, over. Get it. We're at 12 with one shot to go. Uh, 10, 10 points, points puts you into 
into a tie. You know what? What are you, what are you thinking, thinking here? here? I think I gotta bring in one of the best shooters of all time to help me out. You wanna bring out a ringer? I think so. I think that's what's needed right now. Well, St. Louis, he wants to call an audible and bring out a ringer. Please welcome <laughs> well, you've got to do the math, right? right? Which one does he need? He needs the 10. Now at 10. you got to put it in the arch to send him in overtime. I've been under the arch a few times. I'm going to put it in the arch. Let's go! But the competition still isn't over, even though he couldn't pull it out and pull into a tie because we have Kane and Marner at 22 points each. They want to give O'Reilly one more shot. All right, St. Louis. Yeah, see, they, ah, they might be a tie. Fair, fair, fair. Sudden death, one shot only. Oh, right. See, Kane and Marner are saying, give him another shot. Wouldn't this be something? No, I hit the back. <laughs> it is a bit deceiving, isn't it? It's an optical illusion. Look at the fans' reaction. They're booing them. I thought that was close to good. Let's have a look. Oh, one in the round. There's your curve there, as you said, Kevin. One shot each. To win the competition. Up first, from the Toronto Maple Leafs, number 16, Mitch Marner. One shot. Marner and Kane, Toronto against Chicago. One shot to end it. Oh, over the top again. And he's not sure. I feel like that should count. That's yeah, just so close. Totally. And you know, for them, that's so far away, they can't tell. And his, see reaction, that. his reaction, he sees the net go. He can't believe it didn't work. It's definitely hitting the backboard just to the one side, though. But it, it's, it's hitting the 10 almost right on the number. Oh, he got a two. <laughs> that's all he needs. Very they're allowing O'Reilly an opportunity here as the home. You have three, two, two. Oh, my God. They keep letting him shoot because they can't <laughs> let a Chicago Blackhawk win this event. And of course, who does? But Patrick King, listen to this reaction. that he thought got him 10 points. Just floated just enough to get up and over. Man, that was a tight one, wasn't it? Then it hits the net and you think it's in. And here's Kane's shot. There's the deuce to win it. And there's the bonus shot for O'Reilly. That's a